it's Melanie and it's time again for Friday favorites. So I hope that everybody had a fantastic week. I had a okay week. <laughs> um, I went to pick up Stella on Wednesday at my parents' house and um, my mom and I went out on Wednesday shopping with Stella and we managed to get rear-ended by somebody which really wasn't like a huge deal um, because we weren't hurt so that's good. Um, I was stopped at a stoplight and this woman rear-ended me. The real bummer of the situation ended up being that she did not have car insurance. And it still kind of astounds me, like, I take great pride in being, like, <laughs> a responsible citizen and, like, you know, I have full coverage on my car and, you know, like, always had insurance. Like, I would never think to drive around without car insurance. And um, when I found out that she didn't have car insurance, I was like, ah, of course. <laughs> the one person that has to hit me, like this is my first accident in a really long time, and the one person that has to hit me, like, doesn't have car insurance. So it's kind of a hassle dealing with it um, because I have two different deductibles based on two different scenarios. One is $1,000 and one is $200. And... Um, you know, even though she was at fault, um, I don't know that the insurance company will get the deductible back from her. They're certainly going to go after her and reimburse us if she does happen to like pay for it. But just based on her personality at the time of the accident, I don't see her paying the insurance company. I'm sure she'll just let it go to collections, and so I'm out either $200 or $1,000. So I have a little bit of legwork to do to make sure that we can use the $200 deductible. Um, so it's just like, it's a hassle. And seriously, like Stella and I were totally fine. It's just more annoying than anything else. And like, there's just enough damage to my car to like, have to fix it. Um, so yeah. That was a little bit of a womp womp this week, but otherwise it was a good week. I was able to get some things done towards the beginning of the week because like I said, Stella was up at my parents and we came back on Thursday and have kind of been getting acclimated again. And right now Stella is out with her auntie at the park. So I'm going to share with you guys my Friday favorites. And um, again, I hope that you all had a great week and let's jump in first thing i'm going to mention is so this is one of my unburned ones because i have several backups so i just thought i'd grab this one for my collection this is cake from light my soy i have talked this candle to death on my channel i really quite honestly cannot get enough of this scent i don't know what it is it is such a basic like cake vanilla cookie shortbread kind of scent um but there is something that is so comforting to me about this particular scent from Light My Soy. I absolutely love this candle. And um, right now I'm burning like the big three wick that I purchased. Um, so it's enormous. It's a huge three wick and it has like a beautiful like frosting design on the top. It was, I posted a picture of it on Instagram. I almost hated to burn it, but uh, it smells so good. Um, so if any of you are interested in the Light My Soy candles, um, I really highly recommend them. I would not tell you guys about them if I didn't think they were worth the investment. They burn a really long time. They have now added the burn times to the website if you are curious about those. Um, the shipping is expensive. I think that's the thing that people are constantly um, sort of telling me is that um, shipping is expensive and it's because Light My Soy is, they're a smaller business. They don't have the discounts with the um, like UPS and the United States Postal Service that maybe some of the bigger companies do like Bath and Body Works or Yankee. Um, you know, and they also can't afford to just eat the cost of the shipping. So it's a little bit more expensive than what you're used to. Um, I know when you spend $100 at Yankee or a certain amount of money at other online retailers, you know, you get free shipping. That is not the case with Light My Soy. But in the end, when I break it down by the number of hours that I get out of each candle and by the clean burn um, and just the overall, like, 
quality of the product and the authenticity of the sense. Like to me, it's worth spending that little bit for shipping to get a better product. So um, if you feel the same way, I definitely encourage you to check out Light My Soy. Um, I've just always had such a great experience with them and I think they're a great company. So Cake has been my fragrance of the week and I love it. I spent a lot of time on that, but I just thought I'd kind of address that because I know a lot of people have come back and said that, you know, the shipping is expensive and it is and it's because they pack the candles really well like you're never going to get a broken candle like there is no way in hell that you would ever open a package from light my soy and have like broken glass in there like the way that they pack stuff is like Fort Knox and it's amazing because you get your candles and you let them cure and you're like good to go okay I'm gonna share with you guys a skincare product I guess you could call it that I tried this week that I really enjoyed. It's the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Anti-Wrinkle Defense Moisturizer Plus SPF. Um, so this is actually a tinted, um, I'm sure you'll be able to see that there. It is a tinted um, SPF moisturizer and um, it's, it's a really light tint. It's just enough to basically act almost like a BB cream where it sort of blurs out any imperfections that you may have, but um, it's not enough coverage to like qualify as like a foundation or anything like that, even like a tinted moisturizer really. It just sort of blurs things out. I have to say, I did not have high hopes for this because normally in the past SPF products have always made me break out immediately. Like I really struggled with like whiteheads and like pimples from SPF products in the past. And so I was nervous to use this because I was like, I really don't want to spend the next two weeks trying to clear up my skin. Nothing. Um, this also has antioxidants and Reservatrol in it. So it also has really good skincare benefits and it's an SPF of 30. And this is geared towards normal oily and combination skin, which I'm on the oily end of that spectrum. Um, I love this. It keeps me matte all day. It it doesn't provide much moisture. I will readily admit that, but I don't need much. When I do need a little bit more, I will go in with another moisturizer first. Really let that first moisturizer set in and then go over top with this. And then I just go about putting on the rest of my makeup, my Sarah McNamara, my powder foundation, and I'm like good to go. So I really highly recommend this. Um, I do have my affiliate link down below if you guys want to save 10% on your first order. This product would, sorry, not 10%, $10 off your first order. Um, and one thing I have to say about Paula's Choice is the shipping and handling is really reasonable. It's always free when you spend $50 or more for the shipping, but um, for something like this, I think it would be like under $2 to ship it to you. Don't quote me, but... Um, Usually I try to spend $50 or more to get the free shipping. Um, I'm just weird like that. But if you just wanted to try this out, uh, it wouldn't be very expensive for the shipping and you would get the $10 off. And it's only on your first purchase. So um, I'm, uh, let's see, let's start with, so I did a tutorial this week using this palette. This is the MAC 15 pan palette. Um, it's the Nordstrom exclusive. And um I think I mentioned this also in last Friday's favorites, but I just have been wearing it nonstop. Today I'm just wearing Wedge in my crease, which is this guy right here, and rice paper on my lid. And um, it's just so easy. This whole palette is just so easy. It is so worth it. It's expensive. It's $85, but everything in here applies so beautifully. Um, the colors are just great for everyday looks and I'm just having a really great time playing around with it. So to me, this has to be a favorite again this week. I will link the tutorial that I did down below. It's a little bit more of like a smokier look, but I love this. Um, I, I really highly, highly recommend this. If you can splurge on it, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I find the quality to be the exact same as like the MAC Single Eyeshadows. And with in here, you're getting just about the same amount as a full-sized MAC single eyeshadow. There's just a tiny bit less. So overall value on this, I think is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys an about another Polish Choice product that I love so much that I'm actually hitting pan on it. And that says a lot for me because <laughs> I don't normally hit pan on products this regularly. But um, this is the Polish Choice Buff Beige 
uh, healthy finish pressed powder. I have the color buff beige. Um, I'm sure that I probably mentioned this in another Friday favorites, but I think it's worth mentioning again because I find it to be such a good finishing powder. I just absolutely love this. Um, it helps to keep my face matte. It adds a little bit more coverage on top of my regular powder foundation and it's smooth. It's it never looks cakey or heavy. I do find the quality of this to be m miles above anything that I've ever used from the drugstore or even a lot of like higher end products. I would consider this probably like mid range. I believe this is like $18. So it's pretty affordable. Um, but it's a really nice smooth powder that just helps to kind of polish everything and make my look come together. And, um, I love it. It's smooth. It's just a really, really great powder. If you're in the market for a new one, they don't have a huge color selection, but um, <clears throat> if you're in the light to medium skin tone range, you should easily be able to find something. So I'm pretty pale, and the buff beige works really well for me. Okay, um, let's talk about the blush that I've... <laughs> I love this blush. Um, this is the Lee Swatchier blush on powder in the color natural glow um i i have probably mentioned this in the past as well but this is such a nice blush you guys i'm wearing this today this is the blush that i love to reach for when i just don't want to really think about what i need to put on my face it's just a great neutral um if you're in canada and you have access to this you should snag this because it's absolutely beautiful this does have more of a like almost shimmer but mostly satin finish to it doesn't accentuate the pores on my cheeks it's just a beautiful beautiful blush so and i like the packaging of it too it looks very like high-end and fancy um to go with the eye look that um, I showed in my MAC tutorial earlier in the week, I thought I would mention the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink. I've used this a few times in the last couple of weeks since I've had this current beauty basket, and I just love this product. It's one that you don't hear a lot about anymore, but it's just a beautiful sort of metallic pink that if you put it on your lid prior to putting on like a shimmery lid color, it just intensifies it in the most beautiful way. It almost warms any color that you have up. It's kind of a, um, I would call this like a slightly warmer pink. It's just beautiful. Um, I love these color tattoos. I know a lot of people have said that theirs dry out really quickly. I've never had that problem. Um, I keep mine tight, closed, tightly closed <laughs> and I do store them, um, kind of like this. Not I used to store them upside down, but now they're like this in my uh, Alex 9 drawer. And they all seem to be doing okay. So I keep these, by the way, in an ice cube tray, and that's a really great way to store these, at least for me. Um, I have to mention the lip color that I'm wearing, and it's one of the new NYX High Voltage Lipsticks in the color Flutter Kiss. I find this to be such a beautiful neutral color. It is, like I said, what I have on my lips right now. It's so pretty. It's just a gorgeous mauve, plummy mauve. This is so long wearing. I love this lipstick so much. Um, I want to get some backups of it. Um, I just received my 20% off Ulta coupon in the mail, and I believe through today Ulta actually has buy one, get one half off on NYX products. So I think I'm going to have to place my order today because that's a pretty darn good deal. Um, so these are so long wearing. There's a really good color selection. Um, some of the other colors appeal to me as well, and so I'll probably pick up a few more, but I think I'm most excited about picking up a backup to put in my purse. I have this one to keep up here now, but it's so easy. Like, you don't even really need to look in the mirror. You just put it on. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's long wearing for being just a regular old lipstick that's supposedly not necessarily long wearing, and I just, I love the color of it. This color is this is what I would definitely call a Melanie type color, just like mauve neutral, nudie type of shade. This is what I gravitate towards. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to mention today is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So I mentioned both of these products in a NYX, like, worth the hype type video earlier this week. I will have all the videos from this week linked below, by the way. 
this is one of the products that is just oh, I love it um, the new NYX micro brow pencil I have the color taupe I already have two backups of this it is a perfect perfect brow pencil for me I have to draw on my brows every single day because I over plucked them years ago and they just don't grow back very nicely um, so bummer for me but this makes it so easy it's a really thin thin pencil um, it's a harder formula just like the Anastasia brow pencil and it's long wearing this does not fade on me throughout the day it doesn't rub off it doesn't say that it's particularly long wearing or anything it just says micro brow pencil but I find it to be extremely long wearing even on my oily skin it doesn't change color when the oil starts to break through towards the end of the day it doesn't oxidize in any kind of way it just is wonderful and I'm so glad that I discovered this and that I thought to try it it's cheaper than my Sephora retractable brow pencil I can find this at Fred Meyer for $9.99 like if there's like an emergency and I run out of my backups like I can just run to Fred Meyer and pick it up and it's less than 10 bucks well right around ten dollars so I really if you like the Anastasia this is the closest that I've ever found to that so same type of formula where it's like a harder pencil um, it's not as soft as like the Mac brow pencils or the um, Sephora retractable brow pencils if you've tried any of those it's different from that from those two formulas so highly highly recommend this and yeah so glad that I have that and that it's cheap it is so cheap compared to the rest of them so and since I go them through them so quickly I mentioned in that video that I go through about one of these pencils a month um, that's because I have to put on my brows every single day so um, I love it I love it and I think that's everything that I wanted to share for this week so um, I hope that you all have a fantastic weekend please let me know if you have any questions down below and um, ooh, you guys have probably been staring at my little like new growth pieces here the whole time they don't look that bad in person but whenever I look back like and I'm editing my videos and stuff, I just look and I'm like ah ugh. drives me crazy um, my hope is that they start getting long enough here soon so that they actually lay down but nothing I can do about it I've actually tried to like hairspray them down before recording this video but they just pop right back up so anyway I'm gonna go reheat my coffee now <laughs> and upload this Friday favorites because today actually is Friday so I'm a little bit behind this week um I hope you guys have a great weekend like I said and I'll see you in my next video bye guys